philosophies, policies, practices. This is the Automotive Management Minute with Richard Bustillo. With all the buzz in social media, we hear this term reputation management. What, what does it mean? Well, here at Rick Case, we have a simple core philosophy, and that's to treat every customer as if they were your best friend. And that's been our foundation since the doors opened in 1962. Rick has always believed that the customer comes first, and you have to treat the customer right from the dealer's perspective. So whether it's the good, the bad, or the ugly, we want to hear what our customers have to say. We can't fix what we don't know. And like every good friendship, you're going to have your fights. But it's how you recover from that that really sets you apart from the rest. So what we do is we try to provide our guests with a lot of different options so we can get that opinion flowing. So whether it's Dealer Raider, Business Raider, Google, Edmund, Yelp, or any of the online resources that there are, we all realize that it all starts with the people at the dealership. We want to hear what they did good, but more importantly, we want to hear what we didn't do good. We're going to improve on it, and we're going to make sure that the next time they come back, we're going to give them a reason to become a raving fan. We realize that when you convert an unhappy customer to a raving fan, that's much more powerful than any dollar you can spend in advertising. In order to be successful in reputation management, there has to be a culture change in a dealership. And every team member, from myself all the way down, has to be empowered to resolve any situation that comes up with the customer. And if they can't, they have to take it to the next person up to make sure it gets handled. In short, reputation management starts at the dealership. Create the culture, empower your people to fix any problem, and make sure you listen to your customers' voices.